Hello guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn on and off a Nucleus 5 cochlear implant. I'm going to show you guys what the two buttons on it are used for. So, this is the Nucleus 5 cochlear implant right over here. As you can see, when you turn, put it on the top, there are two buttons right over here. The silver one, the, the, those silver buttons, those are the buttons. The black dots you see right there, those are filters and that it's where the sound goes in. So my cochlear implant right now, it's turned off. I can see that, I, I know that it's off because there's no light over here and there's no blinking light or anything like that. And I'll just, I'll go through that in just a second after I show you guys how to turn it on. So to turn it on, we're going to, you have to press the bottom button for about three seconds. And then you see a green light. Now there's a blinking orange light, and that's only because the cochlear implant is not on the person who's supposed to be wearing its head. It's not on the person's head yet, or the ear. So, um, once that uh, orange dot stops blinking, then you know that it's on their head. So, when, but when you see that the orange dot, sometimes it's on the person's head, but it's still blinking, that could be because the battery needs to be changed. This button, the bottom button, can also be used for changing the programs of the processor. So, if you press it just for less than three seconds, just for like a second, then it'll change the program. So, um, did you guys see that that when I turned on the cochlear implant, there was only one green light, and it only flashed once. There was it was just a green light, and it went away, and then an orange light came. But that was because it was on program one. If I were to change it to program two, then there would be two blinking lights. So I'm going to change it to program two right now just by pressing the button quickly and letting go, not holding it for three seconds. Because if I hold it for three seconds, then the processor will turn off. So let me just press it. So there were two green lights. That means it's on program two. The top button is to turn on T-coil, which is um, which you're supposed to turn on if you have um, if you have sound links for if you have sound links and you and you want to use them, then you would click on the top button. So I just clicked on the top button just now, and that green light came on to let me know that T-coil is on. So I'm just gonna turn it off because I don't need it on. Okay. So, to turn off the processor, it's the same way as to turn on the processor. We just have to keep holding it down for three seconds. But first, I want to just tell you guys something just to make sure that you guys understood. If you press it, I only have two programs on my processor right now. But if you have more than two programs, then if it has three blinking blink lights, that means it's on program three. You just keep doing it until you find the program you need. You find that, like, if you need program two, then you wait until you see two blinking green lights. So I'm just going to turn it back on to program one because that's the one that I use. So there, that was one green light, which means it's on program one now. To turn it off, I'm going to press this down, this bottom button down, for three seconds. Now, if I let go, it's going to turn off because... As you can see, the orange light is no longer blinking. It's just staying there because I'm holding onto the button. And once I let go of it, the processor is going to turn off. So let go of it. And now it's off. There is no, there's no light or anything now. So, yeah. That is, that's um, how, to, um, how to turn on and off the cochlear implant and the buttons and what the buttons are supposed to be used for. If you like this video, please don't forget to um, share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.